And welcome to the News at 4, I'm Brian Holmes. I'm Dee Sarton, and tonight police are searching for a man who they say tried to break into a Boise woman's home. That break-in led to a shooting. KTVB Shira Matsuzawa spoke with police. She's in the newsroom now with what happened next. Yeah, it's a terrifying situation. Boise police say the woman was home at the time when she heard a noise and noticed her front door was slightly opened. So she grabbed a gun and went to it. Now that's when the woman told police she saw a man on her porch. Police say the woman fired one shot at the man as he ran away. Investigators say it does not appear that the bullet struck him. Now this all happened just before 1030 last night at a home in the area of Warm Springs Avenue in Walnut. This is what that area looks like. Officers on the scene say they later found evidence that showed the man used a pry bar to break into the home. Officers along with canine, a, a canine police dog and a drone searched for that man, but they did not find him. Now I spoke with Boise police earlier today about what the law is when it comes to firing at someone on your own property. Deadly force is, uh, is an extreme measure and it is only justified when you are in legitimate fear for your life. But uh, if somebody is breaking into your home and, uh, and you're there, uh, I could certainly understand uh, a female subject being in her home feeling extreme fear and utilizing deadly force to protect herself. Uh, whether or not that's justified in the end is certainly uh, the subject of the courts to decide. Investigators do not have a good description of the man, so they're asking for anyone who knows anything to come forward. They're also asking neighbors who might have surveillance cameras to contact them. I also asked police for more details about the victim, but they would only tell me that she is a female resident of Boise. We did talk to them, though, about what people can do to protect themselves and any prevention steps they can take right now. We'll have those for you coming up on the News at 5. All right, Shira, thank you for those details.